I'm going to turn my oven to 350. I guess I could have done that before. And I'm going to put together a simple lunch. Okay, hi, Toby. I have a cookie sheet here, or a pan, I guess you could say, and some foil. If we can minimize the cleanup, I'm, I'm a fan of that. So I'm going to show you a simple, simple recipe that makes you know, a healthy lunch or dinner. And you can do whatever you want to this one. I made a healthy pizza Friday night. And... I made my own sauce and I have some extra and I thought, what am I going to do with it? And it occurred to me that I can make some zucchini boats. I haven't made them in a long time. So I've got through a couple of zucchinis here. And all I need to do with these is cut them the long way and try to get it as half as I can right down the middle. I didn't, didn't do it very evenly there, did I? <laughs> All right, down the middle as best you can. Okay, and I need a small spoon, like a teaspoon. Okay. And we're just gonna carve out a little bit straight into the compost. All right, just, just take your spoon and get rid of kind of the seedy part in the middle and make yourself a little tunnel here, a little well in the middle. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And we're just going to do that to each and every one of these. And then we're going to fill them with whatever you like, right? I happen to have, well, you want sauce or fresh tomatoes. Um, I happen to have some pepperoni, but let's say you had some leftover, you know, ground beef that you cooked. Or some pieces of ham or some pieces of chicken. Or, um, let's see, what else would work? Just about anything you like. And I also have some mozzarella cheese. Um, but you know what's good is just pieces of fresh tomato and goat cheese. Delicious, all right? So this is just one yummy thing to have, period. Okay, so, all right. Got rid of the middle part. And what I'm gonna do, oops, I forgot one. How did we do that? This is live unedited, what can I say? <laughs> All right. Another way, and I'm gonna move the pan so you can see. Okay, you should be able to see what I got there. So I just got my zucchinis lined up here. I'm gonna drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil for flavor more than anything else, so we don't need a lot. Okay, a touch more. There. So not too much. And I need a little bit of salt. Most vegetables do. Okay. Some of it's missing and it's hitting the pan, so it's not as much as it may have looked to you that it was. But um, now we want to get this nice sauce on there. And I can use the same spoon. And you just spoon some sauce on. This is not a picky recipe, so the amount that you like but I kind of like the sauce and this will get a little bit more solid as it cooks if you don't consume dairy this doesn't have to have cheese right or if you're a vegetarian don't put any meat on it you know and so you can have this with you know maybe cheese and spices so the door is wide open on this one which makes it nice you, because you don't have to. This isn't something you shop for the ingredients. Maybe you'll pick up some zucchini, but you just when you know you're doing something with tomato sauce, you can make sure you keep a little extra just so that you can do this. So I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder and some oregano. Just going to give that nice flavor there. But you can spice this up however you like it, okay? And um, I like the crushed red pepper. So we'll add some of that. Add as little or as much as you like. This can be a bit spicy to some people. I like it. Okie dokie. Now, I have some really nice pepperoni. This is an uncured pepperoni. Really nice. And I'm not going to put a lot, but... 
maybe two per. How does that sound? Boom, 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 boom. So, like I said, you could put ground beef, pieces of ham. Uh, you know what? You can put pretty much any leftovers on here, and it's going to be fine. All right. That's that. And I have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mozzarella here. Like I said, I happen to have it, so I'm just going to use it up in this recipe. So let's see. I'll cut this into some smaller pieces, though, because I don't want it melting all over the place. These are small zucchinis, and if I had bigger ones, we could probably fit more stuff on it, but that's all right. That's quite all right. Like I said, this is, you know, if you don't have zucchini, but you have yellow summer squash, that would work too. You can do it with either one. And both would be delicious. So let's see if I can fix this so that you can see what I'm doing again. All right, so I'm just gonna put some of these pieces of cheese kind of in between where I have pepperoni. And I'll tell you one thing about this. It smells so good when it's cooking. I think any Italian flavors, when you have garlic, oregano, tomato going, it always smells so good. So it kind of wakes everybody up. I think this is a good amount of cheese. I'm not, I don't want to overdo it. All right. Can you see what I have here? That's it. Okay, and this is going to go in the oven. Uh, my oven isn't quite heated up all the way, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in there.